should you drop the class or not? That is kind of one of those key questions that so many students always want to ask me at the beginning of the year. And there's definitely some good reasons why you might want to consider dropping your class. And there's also some very good reasons why you might want to consider not to drop in your class. And in this video, that's exactly what I want to tackle. Should you make the decision to drop the class? What are going to be the consequences? Or should you stick through it? And how is that going to actually benefit you? So I definitely do not have all the answers, but as a struggling math student growing up in high school as well as college, but earning my degree and then being a classroom teacher in 14 years, I've definitely dealt with this decision myself as well as help students each and every year make that decision. Should you stay in the class and should you not? So if you're one of those students in this particular predicament, let's go ahead and work through some of the reasons why you might want to drop your class. I think one of the most common reasons that students initially say, hey, should I drop this class? Or they start going to bed at night. They start getting that anxiety feel of like, crap, I don't think I can handle this class. And the reason number one is because the class is too difficult, right? It's either they weren't prepared, aka COVID or online learning, or they just really weren't prepared for the rigor that was going to happen with taking that course. And maybe also additional courses are taking up a lot of their time, after school activities or things going on in their life. Whatever may be the case, putting in the time into the class is becoming more and more difficult because the class is requiring so much effort from them. Problem number two is kind of similar to problem number one, but it's not so much that you don't feel like you can handle the class, it's that you can't learn from your teacher. Now this could be a personal issue, you just do not like that teacher or how they are teaching the subject, but it also could be like you struggle with how they are actually explaining the information or how they are conducting their class or maybe how they're speaking. You can't understand them. On my YouTube comments, I see all the time like, I don't understand my teacher. They teach too fast. AKA, that was me a lot of the times. Whatever it may be the case, a lot of times we get set in our ways and yeah, it can be difficult learning from a teacher or a professor that has a different way of approaching the information. And it can be hard. And that can definitely give you a reason enough to want to get out of the class. Issue number three is probably one of the most important is, and it kind of comes from those first two, is once you start getting some grades and the grades are not looking good. Like what's the point of taking the class if you're just going to be bombing it? If you're just going to get Fs and Ds, I mean, what's really the point of staying in there? There's something that's going wrong, right? There's something that needs to get addressed. So yeah, if you're not getting the grades that you need or that's going to be impacting you in your future and that's going to impact you maybe for scholarships or for whatever degree you're going towards, that is a very solid reason reason to get out of the class before it is too late. Now, some other reasons could be like you're bored or maybe actually you don't need the class anymore, or maybe all your friends are in the other class. Well, for those reasons, we're going to throw those out because if that's your reason for getting on class, you're going to have to stay in it. I want to focus on those first three issues because those are legitimate reasons why you may need to get out of the class. Before we just shake our head and say, hey, that's true for all three, like I need to get out of this class. Let's actually examine these a little bit deeper to really make sure that these reasons are legitimate enough for us to be able to get out of the class. Now, being as a teacher, I would have students that all the time would get out of my class. And again, a lot of the reasons would be the class is too hard, especially pre-calculus. They're entering in upper level mathematics, they weren't really prepared for the class or prepared for the rigor that they were going to have to expel in pre-calculus. And they would immediately want to drop the class once they figured out how much time and effort the class was going to take. There's also times that students would complain about how I taught. I would talk too fast. I would go through too many examples, not enough examples. I had a camera in the middle of my classroom and I only cared about YouTube videos. People would give excuses for everything. And then also probably the most serious one is, you know, students would drop my class if they were failing obviously, or sometimes they got D's, sometimes they got C's, sometimes even really, really picky students dropped my class because they got B's. And yes, they actually did get out of the class. I tried to keep them in. And for a lot of students, I did try to keep in. And I did that by asking them one simple question. And a lot of times this was with them and their parent and the counselor present. And I looked them in the eyes. I didn't take offense to them trying to drop my class. I understood exactly the predicament they're in, but I asked them, are you doing everything that you possibly can be doing to be successful in my class? And you know what happened almost 95% of the time? the students would tense up and you could see that reality was setting in and they knew that they were not putting in their best effort in my class for whatever reason. They knew there was more of them they could do to be successful in my class. Now, some students came to reality and they said, you know what? No, I'm not. And we would talk through what they're doing, what they're not doing and ways that I saw that they could improve as well as being successful in my class. Then there'd be other students that would dig their heels in the ground and say, yes, I am doing everything. 
So then I would follow up the question with, well, what exactly are you doing? Where are you struggling with my class? Sometimes it would be me. Sometimes it would be the content, whatever their struggle was. I'd always follow up with them with what are you doing or what changes or what approaches have you done because you've had these struggles? And again, that would be another question that would trip up a lot of students because they didn't have an answer. A lot of students, once they get to the struggle is they just try to keep on doing what they've always been doing. They're not willing to change. They're not willing to put in more effort to find success. And that's the reality from being in these conferences time and time again, when the going gets tough, a lot of students just want to give up. They don't want to put in the extra effort. They don't want to put in the extra work. They don't want to change the way that they have approached the classes. Because the reality is last year's teacher, they got used to that teacher. They got used to their rituals and routines. They got used to their grading. That's not how I am as a teacher or whoever you're going to have as a teacher. You're going to have to learn to adjust because I don't want you to always just give up when things get hard. Now, let me be clear. There was a lot of students that obviously I was very quick to say, yep, you want to get on my class? You can go right? It wasn't because they were a behavior problem. It was because I knew they were overwhelmed. I knew that they didn't need to be successful in pre-calculus that year. Maybe they could take my course the next year, or maybe they needed to do some more review to be successful. But I could usually tell as a teacher when students were putting in the effort to be successful, but they just didn't have the foundations for my class compared to students that were not putting in the effort that they needed to, but did have the tools for success. And I think that's important for you to understand because I am not against you dropping in class. There are times you definitely need to drop the class, right? And that comes into, yeah, answering that question. Are you doing everything you can to be successful? But also, do you really need the class? Do you really need to be overcoming that struggle for that course? Because guess what? I've dropped the class. There was only one, but I did drop a class. And unfortunately, I dropped the class in college past the time where I could get a refund. So I had to bite the bullet. I don't remember how much money it cost, but I had to pay for a class that I did not get a grade for. And that was kind of tough, right? Especially being a college student and not having a lot of money. That's not really something you need to do. However, it was calc-based physics in college and I was already taking calculus too. Now, calculus was my major and that was taking up all of my time. And I was having a little bit of struggles. Like I had to put a lot of time into my studying and preparing for calculus because again, I wanted to be a teacher and I've had previous struggles in math. So when I started taking physics during the same semester, I was realizing this class is also gonna require a lot of my attention to work because I still had some of that weakness in mathematics that was being exposed in physics in addition to calculus. But eventually I had to make a choice, like what was more important, my major or my minor? And obviously I knew I had to focus on calculus and therefore there was really no reason for me to stick through or struggle through physics. So I ended up dropping the class and I made a pivot, right? And I decided to go into a completely different major. And so I'm not against you making the pivot if you need to make the pivot. That's part of the conversation you should be having with your parents and with your teachers and your counselor of deciding is what is it do you really want? Are you just trying to drop the class because it's hard, because you're struggling with the material, because you're struggling learning from the teacher or because you're not getting the grade that you want? Or is it really something that you're like, hey, I need to go in a different direction and that's fine. I just want all of you to know it's okay to struggle and it's okay to pivot if you need to pivot. It's not always easy and sometimes it's a really, really hard decision to have to make. But if you find yourself in this position, just take a hard look at yourself and what you're doing. Are you being the best version of yourself? Are you putting in the most amount of effort are you doing everything you can do to be successful in that class? And in the end, is this class really worth it? I'll end this video with one of my favorite quotes by Jim Rohn. Don't wish it was easy. Wish you were better. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.